Good morning. You know, how many times did you hear this word during the last year? Uh, disinformation. Quite a few times, right? Now, the establishment, they are very predictable. They talk about a problem for a while and then they regulate. Yeah. And the politicians, they love this. Let's regulate things. Yeah. So, disinformation was a big problem and now they are regulating you and me. Yeah. Disinformation is just people with other opinions. They don't like this. They don't like us. We have other opinions. So they want to regulate us. Yeah. Yeah, they do this with everything. And there's no, no limit to what they can do. You know, they talk about the climate. Yeah, this is a big problem. The climate, the weather. You know, let's regulate. And now we have these regulations. And... Uh, taxes and stuff. And they did it with Russia. They said Russia is a big problem, let's regulate. And now here in the EU we can't listen to the Russian channels anymore. People can say, no, I want to hear the Russians, I want to know what they have to say, but you can't. It's true. It was a decision made in the EU Council. Well, you can find them. Yeah, I have bad news for you, establishment. I still re listen to the Russian channels. Yeah, I just know how to find them. Yeah. So that's how they do it. Here in Sweden, we are sort of laughing about this. There are two things that we are laughing about right now. One of them is this. The Swedish Socialist Party, they left Twitter. Yeah, it's not a big channel, and they have been there for many, many years, but now they left it. They didn't like it, you know, when Elon Musk was coming in. <laughs> I think there's a plan here. You know? Let's create a new society on our own terms, and then they leave. Yeah, good, eh? They can do their things uh, somewhere else. Yeah. They, are, they get offended by certain things and they leave, you see. Here's another thing that we are laughing about. Uh, it's the Swedish foreign minister. Her name is Ann Linde. And she wants this image of being very strong. Right? And she tweeted about the riots. You know, we had riots during Easter with people of a certain faith. They rioted. Yeah, it was bad. And this is what she said, Ann Linda. Uh, we must get rid of violence and break segregation. The criminal structures behind it are, in principle, always cross-border, are they? I don't know. That is why I have appointed an envoy against organized crime. <laughs> yeah. And people find this funny. I find it funny because they say, well, oh, wow, oh, now something, finally, you know, Ann Linde, the foreign minister, is doing something. This will solve the whole thing. Yeah. Finally, I want to tell you about Apple, the company in the United States. Uh, Apple, they said, we want the workers to return to the office now. Yeah. And then there was a, an open letter signed by more than 200 staff. Yeah. 200 people signed this. An open letter that they sent to the executives. And they said, uh, returning to work is not in the best interest of the company because it's racist. Yeah. I try to understand this, how they think. Yeah, I really tried. They say, a return to work, to the office, would make the workforce younger, whiter, male-dominated. All right. So, do you understand this? More than 200 people signed this letter. You know, 
If we go back to office, it would be racist. If we stay at home working, it would not. For, I don't know. You figure it out, if you want. Yeah. All right. Be good.